Hi, I'm Ben. This is the first episode in our series, Hello Watch Kit, where we'll get you up and running with a real Apple Watch app in no time flat. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll need to open up Xcode. Right now, we have to use Xcode Beta because WatchKit isn't out yet. You can either hit this one for Create a New Xcode Project, or you can go File, New, Project. We're starting off simple, so we'll stick with a single view application. Make sure you have iOS instead of OS X. Next up, we'll call it Hello WatchKit. You can save it anywhere you like, but I'm going to put it in my Downloads folder. Okay, now we're up and running in Xcode with our new project. First thing to do is test it out. Right now we only have one scheme available, and we're going to run that on the iPhone 6. Press the play button to run it. Once it's running, you'll see that it loads the launch screen first, and then it's just a blank white screen. Notice also that in the iPhone simulator, we only have this one window here for the iPhone 6. But what we really want to do is get one up there for the Apple Watch. Make sure you have your project selected in the navigator and then go File, New, Target. Once you press that, make sure you're on iOS and Apple Watch, and there's your watch kit app right there. Hit Next. And in this one, you can set some of the attributes, make sure we're in Swift, and we don't need a notification or a glance right now, so we'll just go ahead and hit Finish. The next window that pops up will ask you if you want to activate the new scheme. And you do. This is what allows us to actually test the watch app in the simulator. We have our Hello Watch Kit iPhone app, and now we have the Watch Kit app as well. Make sure that's selected, and then you can press Run. Now you notice that we have the iPhone simulator here, but we also have the Apple Watch simulator with a black screen. And we can tell that it's working because we see the time and the charging indicator there. The next thing we're going to do is go back to the navigator and we can open up these two groups here. The first is the WatchKit extension and that's the code that actually runs on the iPhone itself. And the next one is the WatchKit app and that's what's stored on the Apple Watch. You notice that in the WatchKit app there's only the storyboard there and your interface controller is stored on the phone. So the iPhone runs all the code and it simply talks to the view that's in the WatchKit app. Let's check out what's in there. So you'll see a normal storyboard layout that you're used to. What you can do now is search the object library for a label. And we'll drag and drop that on there. And we'll also grab a separator. And put that right underneath it. So in order to be able to set this label, we need to hook it up to our interface controller. So to do that, I'm going to open up the assistant editor which is the Venn diagram looking icon in the upper right. I'm going to have my label selected and hold down the control key on my keyboard and drag over just below the class definition. And I'm going to call this title label. I hit connect. I notice that we have this function called awake with context. That's kind of like a view did load for the iPhone app. So this function gets called as soon as this interface is loaded up. And this is what we want to do to actually populate our label. We can say title label dot set text and put in hello watch kit. Notice that what I didn't do is say title label dot text. That's the way you do it in iOS, but with watch kit, now everything needs to be set to the interface, so we can't directly access those interface elements. And so the best way to do that is to actually use set text. And you can do this for all the different kinds of attributes for any of one of your interface objects, like set width or set alpha or set color. And you'll see how we do that in the future. So now let's run the app again. So I'm just press stop to stop the previously running one. And we'll see now that we, our label correctly says hello watch kit. The next thing to do is, I noticed it's on the left, so we actually want to make it be in the center. I'm going to go back to the single view, and my label is selected, and you can see in the position here, I can change it to center. Notice that if I keep it as left, but I only change the alignment to center, then nothing happens because the label is clipped to only include the contents that's there. But what I could do if I wanted my alignment to be center is set the size width to be relative to the container. 
Now it stretches the full width of the container and the alignment center works as we would expect it to. But just to go back, most of the time what I like to do is keep it in size to fit content and keep the alignment on the left and then just change the position to the center. Now if we run that, you'll notice that our label is now in the center. So thanks for watching this first part of the series. Next up, we're going to learn how to make a map inside of your WatchKit app.